welcome back to our channel. I'm Rama Agsunod of Common Room PH and today I'm going to give you a flip through of my journal for the past six months. Okay, a little bit of context. I'm new to journaling. The reason why I wanted to start this year is first because Common Room has a Let's Stick Together slam book. We launched it last year and sayang naman if we don't use it. So this is our slam book. We released it last year and actually it's now available in stores. Last year you can only purchase it through our gift certificate, you can get it as a freebie. Now you can purchase it directly online and in stores. So going back to my point, we had the sticker slam book and sayang naman if I don't use it. So that's one reason I wanted to use this. And second is because I'm a new mom and I wanted sana to document yung mga developments, highlights of my babies, you know, milestones, mga first steps, ganyan. Kasi nga, di ba, ang bilis-bilis ng panahon. Magugulat ka na lang, Pasko na naman, ganyan. And I wanted to, you know, slow down time and mas makapture siya. So that's why talagang I decided, okay, this year is the year I'm going to start journaling and i am super happy to share with you guys that since january i've been consistently doing my weekly spread kahit medyo paminsan mabilisan ko lang siyang ginawa because again i'm a new mom so ang dami kong kailangan gawin and today i'm going to show you a flip through of my journal that I'm using this year is my traveler's notebook. Actually, this one, I used to use this for my to-do list. But, medyo nahirapan ako kasi, as you can see, ang hirap siya i-flat. So, nahirapan ako. So, I decided this year, I'm going to use my traveler's notebook for everything related to my personal life. So, nandito yung mga lalagyan ng mga photos. So, eto, may napuno na akong photos for the past six months. Dito nakalagay yan sa traveler's notebook. Actually, this one is new na. And then, yung mga fillers niya, yun yung ginawa nating for my weekly spread. Again, please don't judge the first few pages of my journal. Oh my God. Um, medyo nakakahiya pa siya here. As you can see, I used um, big elements pa like my Instax printer. Ito yung mga prints niya and our kaleidoscope because at the time, I really just had the kaleidoscope and the Let's Stick Together slam book and my Instax. So makikita mo, yun talaga punong-puno yung page kasi those are the only things that I had at the time. And makikita nyo sa first few pages, I attempted pa to do long form. Kasi feeling ko, pag mag-journal ka, kailangan long form siya. And then eventually, I realized, okay, I'm not the long form person. Lahat siya ng bullet points of everything that I did for the week. Ginawa ko lang siyang sentence. So parang, okay, no. So, siguro mga uh, sa third week, medyo I started, okay, let's do minimal na lang. So, somehow, makikita nyo sa mga next pages na I really stuck na to this form na as a middle lang yung elements and may mga negative space. And somehow, in this page, you see na parang I'm trying to have a theme na ng color sa mga stickers. And then, just really pops of what happened for the week. So, makikita nyo na I let the stickers do the talking for me hindi na ako mismo yung nagkukwento ng mahaba. Kasi na-realize ko rin when I'm going through my journals, hindi ko rin siya binabasa. Mas nag-gravitate talaga ako na mas naaalala ko kapag bullet points lang siya. So, I keep all the long thoughts in my head and just really do bullet points when I do my journaling. Okay, for this page, I found a new toy. My husband gifted me with this printer. So, this one can print thermal stickers in thermal paper and also translucent stickers. So, makikita nyo na ang aking Let's Stick Together sticker slam book stickers ay meron ng mga kasamang ibang elements that I printed using my pulley print. And makikita nyo na here, I'm starting to experiment with the paper that I want to use because this one, it can print 
both um, translucent and in thermal paper. Eventually, I decided, okay, I just like the translucent paper. So, makikita nyo na puro translucent na in the coming pages. So, makikita nyo consistent na siya. Medyo nasa gitna lang yung mga elements. And then, you see that I started playing around with different elements that are not related to the slam book. So, parang pops of decoration just to make it cuter. Nagkakaroon na ng konting style kumpara dito sa mga una na talagang pinuno ko lang ng mga things. Here you see me experimenting with different coats. Ayan yung mga natututunan ko along the way. Nalilimit na ng konti yung stickers na nilalagay ko kasi somehow since I already have a printer, mas nakakapag-focus ako to printing pictures of us during the week. Mga nangyari sa week na yun. I really operate on a weekly basis. Kahit yung to-do list ko, weekly siya. So, I wanted to remember the week kasi ganun nga ako mag-operate. Definitely, hindi ko kaya daily. Yung weekly nga, hirap na hirap ako. And yung monthly ko, parang I'm not the person na witty na can summarize a month in a, uh, in one page. Actually, makikita nyo nga dito na halos hindi ko na alam kung paano ko pagkakasyahin kasi feeling ko ang daming moments na gusto kong iprint. So, makikita nyo that the stickers that I'm using, they all came from the sticker book. And talagang ini-explain niya yung nangyari for the week. Like, related siya. For example, this one, I'm sure we had Sam Jup that weekend. Kaya may ganyan. Normal human things. Because I think we went out and went to a family dinner. So, di ba pandemic? Tapos, we we're starting to go out again. Ganyan. Ayan, I guess nag exercise ako. Hindi lang decorative yung stickers that are coming from the slam book for my pages talagang somehow it's related to what I'm feeling for the week. So, again, I let the stickers do the talking for me. Makikita nyo, medyo I'm just really experimenting on the layout. Pero basically, since I have a limited page lang naman, medyo limited lang din yung types of layouts na magagawa ko. And somehow, I like this already. Medyo ganun ako. Pag gusto ko na yung style, I kind of stick to it already. And I'm so happy because the Sticker Slam book also has some of the artists. We share the same interests like BTS. So in this particular week, I'm sure there was a BTS concert. That's why I have BTS stickers here. OMG, here, you'll notice that I started using stamps. And the reason for this is because the elements that I use for my journals came from the printer. I use the printer as well to print the elements that I'm going to use for my weekly spread. Na medyo nasasayangan ako. Parang gagamit ako ng printer and translucent sticker just to create the elements. So that's why I decided, okay, let's invest in acrylic stamps. So that's why I started using stamps. By the way, we have lots of acrylic stamps care of Everyday Explorer in the store. So if it's something that you'd like to add to your journal, it's really a must. Makikita nyo dito, <laughs> medyo ang gulo pa ng mga stickers ko. I'm so sorry kasi again, it's my first time to use a stamp. So medyo ang gulo-gulo pa niya. Hopefully, improvement sa pag-use ko ng stamps along the way. Mas eco-friendly na mag-use ng stamp kaysa mag-print ng bagong sticker just to add elements to my page. Ayan, nag-experiment ako sa mga stamps. So makikita nyo may parang nag-jump ng style. Like here, I started enclosing the notes in a border like this one from the stamps. And medyo hindi ko pa feel yung layout niya and the style. And also see, I'm still experimenting with what stamps to use. And in this particular page, I'm not really too happy with it. Because again, anong relationship ng mga butterflies sa spread ko? <laughs> again, I'm a creature of comfort. If I find a style that I like, I stick to it. So, I realized that I just like the simple doodles. Mas bagay siya dito sa feel ng stickers ng slam book. That's why I stopped using yung mga simple na stamps para for my pages. Again, comfortable na ako sa layout na to. And you see, all throughout, ito na lang yung mga stickers and stamps na ginagamit ko for my spread. 
Kahit gaano katagal ko na siyang ginagawa, every week is a learning experience. Parang sometimes I feel, okay, I got this journaling thing na. Parang I like my layouts already. And then biglang may mga week na biglang, oh, oh my God, hindi pa rin, hindi ko pa rin siya talaga get. So it's really still a learning experience every time for me. So you see na nagkakaroon na siya ng format na andito yung mga notes and a stamp enclosure and then may mga stamps around and then swertihan na lang if for that week medyo feel ko yung layout niya. As you can see, parang somehow my stickers, I try my best to follow a color scheme. Paminsan kasi mahirap kasi I want the stickers not just to be related in color but also related to what I'm feeling for the week. So paminsan, even if hindi siya ka-color ng iba pero it's what I'm feeling for the week, then I use the sticker. Okay, here you will see a new addition for my toys. Here, now I'm using a new print so I don't just have my pulley printer now I have a Xiaomi printer which was also gifted to me on Mother's Day naman by my husband and the reason why I w really wanted to use this printer for my spread is because as you can see talagang ang main attraction of my pages are my memories and our pictures and I realized ko with the translucent while it looks really nice parang ang hazy rin niya <laughs> eh, the reason nga why you wanted to document everything is because you wanted to remember it. That's why I decided, okay, let's buy a printer that can print better photos for moments na mas importante for me. So in this page, you can see that I use it for my first Mother's Day and this one is for my for the baptism of our baby girl and anything that is work related are still in polyprint. So, ganun ko siya gina justify in my head. Here, I incorporate the different stickers that I got, but mostly I really still use the stickers from the slam book. And here, again, if it's work related, it's translucent. If it's really related to very important memories of my family, I use the Xiaomi printer. I think wala naman ng masyadong inad sa mga next pages. So, ito na yung mga last few pages of my. Journal. Sometimes, etong week na to, like for example, I wasn't able to work, so makikita nyo wala na siyang pulley print. <laughs> Kasi everything is important. So, wala kong work dito because we went on a vacation. Nakikita nyo that the tools I use for my journals, even if I don't read it, I already know what happened for the week. Ganun ako mentally that's how i operate i i don't like taking too much time rereading things every element is intentional for me except for the stamps all of the stickers mean something to me so pag nakita ko pa lang yan alam ko na kung most likely what happened for the week so there that's my 6 months Siguro dun sa mga gustong mag-try and doon sa nagwa-wonder how I'm able to be consistently doing it weekly. I think what helped for me is I use the monthly, my monthly calendar and then I really put the highlights of my day so that when it's time to do the journaling already, I can go back to my monthly spread and see what was the highlight for that day and what was the highlight for the entire week. And from that monthly spread, naaalala ko kasi aminin na natin yung mga ginawa mo kahapon, maaring nakalimutan mo na today <laughs> kasi ganun talaga kalami yung nangyayari sa isang araw pa minsan na talagang you really have to be intentional in writing down the highlights highlights of the day so that by the time you need to do your spread for the week, hindi mo nakalimutan na okay, nangyari pala siya. Also, yung gusto ko sa journaling na narealize ko lang is mas na-appreciate ko yung mga nangyayari sa life ko kasi before ang dating, sometimes you feel like walang nangyari sa buhay mo, walang nangyari, and then you go back and do your journal and realize na OMG, nangyari lang pala to this week or last week. 
na nakalimutan mo na dahil lang sa dami ng ginagawa mo. So, I think that's why I really encourage everyone if you want to try to do it kasi it helps you reflect rin on what happened for the week and in your life compared to just, you know, hustling every day. Yun, nakakalimutan mo na, oh my gosh, ang dami ko palang nagawa, ang dami palang nangyari, hindi lang walang nangyari sa buhay ko for the week, for the month, or for the year. There you go. That's my journal for the past six months. Hopefully, you were able to get something from the lessons I've learned along the way while I was learning how to do journaling. If you are already into journaling, hopefully may nakuha pa rin kayo from today's episode. And if you will try journaling, sana may mga nakuha kayong tips and tricks and tools na pwede niyong gamitin in your journey. Again, the sticker slam book is now available in stores. And if something that you want to try in your own journals, Hopefully, you can support our community. If you like this episode, please like. If you have comments, please comment below. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and please support our community. Bye!